looking at our hotel room window this morning, we see a Peruvian train. It's leaving uh, Lake Titicaca, and it looks like it's proceeding in the direction of Cusco, but we're not doing that. We're going to go to the airport, get a plane to Lima. On the way to the airport, we're passing through the main town of Juliaca, which is where the airport is. And boy, it's, everything is going on around here. So uh, this is a Chinese restaurant, very typical of many that you find around here. They like Chinese food in Peru. It's a combination of Peruvian and Chinese. I hate to say guinea pig lo mein, but uh, it's, it's entirely possible. An optical store. It's only when they run out of This wiring up there reminds me of the Far East. Some. Yeah, we're very fascinated by the fact that there's green here and uh, because there's not a whole, whole lot of greens of anything and there's a square with a, a statue up there as a man with a pole next to him. I don't know. Uh, wait, there's something else coming up here on the left. It's a man holding a globe. Oh, and look at this big slide. Oh. Wow. I wonder if that's for like skateboards or something. Probably hard when you're behind it. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, we are at the airport. Like all those people say, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> okay. Certainly not a busy place. Well, guess what? We made it to Lima. We're, we just left the airport and we're walking to the bus. We're all here, too. Busy place, Lima. How are you? Hello, hello. Finally, you made it. Yes. How do you feel here at sea level? <laughs> better, much better. Now you can jump, you can run, and scream. So, good evening. We're in Lima, and we are. Mike and I are eating dinner at a restaurant called Panchita. Panchita, not about a block from our hotel. Highly recommended. It's kind of a steak place, I guess. Although they have other things. So uh, we're starting with uh, bread. You can see the bread with uh, butter and cheese spreads. We got more coming though. Just watch. All right, next course just arrived. I ordered a salad, a Caesar salad to have with my steak. Do you do you see how big this is? This this could be really salad for three people. I'm gonna ask if they have such a thing as, as uh, takeout at the end. Box it up. I could eat this for lunch tomorrow. Okay, so Mike's soup just came. Look at this thing. There's a two pound steak in there. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's gigantic. I know, how are we gonna eat all this? It's gonna let me the fork tonight. You know what? It's, it's unbelievable. Oh boy. That was a lot of salad. Look, I really, I really ate it. Unfortunately, after that, there's no more room for steak. This dinner is over. Meanwhile, Mike is uh, very diligently uh, eating away at his uh, soup. It's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. And that's right. We'll come back in a few minutes, see how he's doing. Well, it looks like, yeah, <laughs> looks like Mike has given up. Couldn't get through that bowl of soup. Too much for me. Never, well, I never used a knife and a fork and a spoon for a cup of soup or a bowl of soup. Actually, I think it's a bathtub. It was huge, for sure. Very so good. as a result, we canceled our steaks, our churrascos. So we're gonna we're gonna end it here.